Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Tink. That's M I Z Z N I M I S S. Okay, and we're here to do our Empire Meshup with episode two, three, and four. Y'all know I was late. Sorry about that. I had some family issues I had to deal with, but we're now back into the game. I am tired as shit. Worked 16 hours yesterday and had school today. So I'm going to get this video out so I can take my ass to sleep after I watch How to Get Away with Murder. So let's get into it. We're going to start with episode two. We're mostly going to do four, but we're going to sprinkle, of course, two and three. So I'm going to put two and three real fast out there, you know, quick summarization. And then episode four, we most likely might go blow by blow, but don't quote me on it. Also, before I even get into it, RIP to Tommy Strong, Tommy Ford. We all know Tommy from Martin. Man, that was, you ain't got no job, man. Like, that was... Uh, Cole, how you gonna write a book Well, you can't even write your damn name? Just, Tommy, Martin is me and my brother's show. I love Cole, you stupid. Like, oh my God, just those, may he rest in peace. My prayers go out to his family. It's, it's not, it's not gonna be the same watching Martin knowing that, you know, because every last one of them characters are just, I grew up on. I love me some Martin. Every last one of the characters are funny and unreplaceable as far as on that show in their own individual way. So, yeah. Rest in peace, Tommy. Just want to put that out there. So, let's get into the Empire mashup. Okay, starting off with episode two. Um, It was pretty cool. I mean, Lucius was just basically showering cookies with gifts. Cookie ain't got time for the shit, but she kept that damn gun right on, girl. Boo Boo Kitty over here having interviews for a damn babysitter. Lucius going to fuck off talking about your only damn job is to, of course, be a mother. Now, get your ass in there and be a damn mother. Talking about she need help. Girl, please. Whatever. Lucius like, motherfucker, I got the feds watching me. And you bring these motherfuckers in here that I don't even know. I felt where Lucius was coming from. And even mama Lucius like, shit, I raised the white all by his damn self. You know what I'm saying? As far as you know, without a, without a nanny. And the same thing with Cookie with three. So, girl, please, you only got one. Shut the fuck up and act like you don't know. Or should I say, act like you do know how to be a mother. Get your ass in there and get the practice. That's what you get when we ain't even gonna go there. Jamal, you know, doing the whole city council visiting thing as far as um interview with Tay Diggs. Of course, that's how we introduced Tay Diggs, Angela Yee doing it or whatever. Cookie over there handling her business, of course, being his mama. She like, hold on, nigga. My son is not a victim. He is a survivor. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, uh, Tay Diggs was hitting on some points or whatever. Of course, Jamal thinks that Fan Loaf is, of course, the, the victim in it as well because everything that, you know, Lucius did or whatever. And, of course, Fan Loaf didn't mean to shoot Jamal. But, you know... Tay did basically hit some damn good questions as far as you know. She the one who had the gun and all of this stuff. And PTSD ain't nothing to be ashamed about or whatever. Because, of course, Jamal can't sing. Of course, that's what we saw in episode one. But then... As the conversation continues, you know what I'm saying, uh, Tay Diggs was like, you know, why don't you come out to the summit, whatever, and do your thing. You know, you got fans and the kids and all that stuff because that's what Tay Diggs works with. And, you know, Cookie was against it, but overall, Jamal was like, I'm going to do whatever. Then, at first, they was going to go to his spot, but they switched to Leviticus because the kids was there when Lucius was there. And, you know, little baby Zay, you know what I'm saying, spit his game or whatever. Lucius was trying to sign him, but Cookie seen otherwise. We'll get to that in a second or whatever. And they had the performance at Leviticus, which I ain't going to lie, I liked it. I thought it was really 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 good and sending a good message especially with everything that's going on today okay hands up we all know black lives matter stay woke already oh uh, cookie went the fuck off because cookie ain't got time for it. he's like look i don't got time for the feds we ain't got time for a politician but she comes around overall she comes around and of course tay did see where she coming from too after she read the hell out of his ass Cause come to find out tay Diggs was a squeaky clean motherfucker back then he was not and still not he didn't got in trouble with some shit his people had money, hired some lawyers, and got that shit expunged. Now he's in the city council. Cookie went the fuck off. Okay, right on. Um, but after, um, you know, the kids did their performance, he did that speech, whatever. Cookie understood, you know, because, of course, he called Jam uh, Jamal a survivor, not a victim or whatever. And, you know, Cookie felt good. Even Portia pointed that out. I'm like, girl, you might not like him, but he's cute. And he was looking at Cookie. Lucius got in his damn feelings. They, um, the whole episode, they was going back down memory lane as far as, you know, the music, how they found each other, how Cookie and Lucius ran into each other. Cookie had a whole other boyfriend that was on a totally different path or whatever. But, of course, Cookie went to Lucius because she loved the music or whatever, although her daddy disagreed. we get to that in a second or whatever. Um, after that, um, Lucius is meeting with Exhibit or whatever, trying to sign old good old Nessa or whatever, you know. And Hakeem and Nessa are now working together on some good music. I must admit that little collab that they had was a nice song. I like how they collab on music. 
Hakeem is feeling Nessa, but Nessa is so not feeling him. We're going to talk about that in episode four. You know what I mean? And, of course, he brings up his daughter, whatever, as far as um, Hakeem need to be a better father and step up. But I'm like, damn, Lucius. Um, anyways, um, Cookie, of course, kept the gun. Um, Jamal, he's doing um, Tory Empire. That's how they, you know, of course, Lucius did the over underwriting and all that stuff. That's how they got the event there. Um, Hakeem. And, you know, of course, Nessa doing good music, liked it, whatever. Becky and Cookie are talking about the artist. Becky, you look cute with your new hair, whatever. Becky wants to be A&R, but Cookie has yet to tell her anything, whatever. And then, of course, they ask about J-Pop. J-Pop, her, her, her man is on tour still or whatever, so, you know, he'll be back soon. J-Pop comes back and says, you know what, baby, I done been talking to other people. Why don't we just leave Empire? She's like, no, like, no, this is home. J-Pop like, man, fuck that home shit. The feds is watching. They gonna come in in the rec shop anytime baby i don't want you to get caught in it come with me i love you so we're gonna see how that goes anyways um after that um uh what else um andre ronda of course they have a name moment andre of course seeing his you know his wife from the grave and she just you know mm, going off on his ass why why they haven't yet to have a proper burial for ronda i never know but whatever um jamal says he'll help him as far as get his act together with the pills and stuff because he can't take his pills and ronda had that on lock so you know he's gonna help him or whatever and i'm like oh you know bros there for each other love how cookie and andre had their moment i thought it was beautiful he's like mama how you get through it and cookie just let him know like baby you done got through so much you gonna get through this i just loved it baby be there for your son cookie yes because he going through it yes yes Yes, yes, I loved it. Anyways, um, like I said, Cookie went the hell off on uh, Tay Diggs at Leviticus. I'm looking at my notes to make sure I'm right. Um, Luci Lucius, of course, surprised Cookie more with a performance from Biz Marquis. And then, of course, they had another walk down memory lane or whatever. But, you know, Lucius, you need to fucking chill. Like, realize the shit you done, but I can't stand Lucius. Anyways, um, after that, um, Hakeem and Nessa going over the song, um, Sean likes it. He checks old boy that's looking at Nessa, whatever, goes over there and punches the shit out of um, old boy. And Hakeem and Nessa are like, damn, what the hell? Okay. All right. Okay. Shit. Uh, Cookie admits finally that Jamal does have a problem with PTSD because he couldn't perform after, you know, the whole uh, summit performance or whatever. You know, he's had his flashback or whatever. I was like, oh. I was like, man, you going to get it. You know, you're going to get it, whatever. Um, Lucius talking about, you know, he's going to get rid of the songs that was on Jamal's black and white album and call it black or whatever. And Lucius, not Lucius, but Cookie's like, you did this because it's personal because he feels some type of way. Gonna tell Tay Diggs one minute, call me, uh, Lucius. Then I, th um, then gonna go back and say, call me Mr. Lion. Nigga, you just mad. Whatever. Anyways, Cookie said, you know what? Let's, let's play. Since you want to play, let's motherfucking play. I know that is right. Okay. Andre is walking, whatever, because poor Andre got arrested. No, Lord. He got arrested, that white bitch. Oh, poor Andre. I just felt so bad for him because, you know, he was going to go move his stuff, his boxes and stuff and all that. And that motherfucking bitch called it. And Andre was just, oh, it was just so can relate to what's going on. Thank you for putting that in there, Lee Daniels. It was just, mm. and um, that damn uh judge or that judge lawyer, his old fake ass friend can't even get him off. They're gonna um, sit up here and try to make him take a plea bargain for something that he didn't commit. I felt him on that. Hell no. Nah. But then again, you should have listened to your dad. I know you wanted to handle it on your own, but you should have listened to your dad because thirsty ass, aka Quench, would have dug up some dirt and got all that shit together. Okay, okay. But understand, Andre wants to be a man to handle it. But baby, now you in this situation. Andre walk in, Tyreek approaches him or whatever, and of course, we all. I know also in the last episode boo boo kitty found the damn her ass found where the damn um damn recording and shit was and i was like lord jesus she didn't find a damn recording y'all oh my lord jesus mm -mm -mm. oh and i jumped to episode three but you know like i said andre was ar arrested in episode two because the motherfuckers were talking about he's stealing the shit when that's his house of course that whole thing is going on today with the police and of course the african-american community that bitch and then of course in episode three like i said he wasn't going to admit to a crime that he didn't commit which i don't blame him but you should listen to your daddy and should have got quench on that shit quench and his guys would have handled that shit but you know it is what it is we're gonna get it together because now he's the wanted man but hey um Speaking of Andre, because I'm going to continue, because like I said, it's a mess up. Uh, Andre wants to get out of the damn truck after, you know, Lucius come pick him up after the court hearing or whatever, because they tried to charge him with aggravated assault on a police officer and all that shit, whatever. But Lucius was giving him some real talk and everything, but, you know, Andre don't want to hear. He's like, let me out of this damn car. I'm going to knock 
break basically break this bitch doors off the hindens, hindens, hinges or whatever. But you know, let him out. Jamal goes after him or whatever. Hakeem like, fuck that shit, let's get this music. Cause Hakeem is upset because Tiana ass is performing with Romeo and shit, and he gets all in his just like his daddy, small ass ego, thinks that she's his. She is not yours, okay? You didn't moved on. You trying to get with Nessie, you didn't got Boo Boo Kitty pregnant, and you didn't even uh marry remain for he to me. So she is not yours, okay? You a fair game, just like you treat her. So whatever, but he just mad or whatever. So he goes back and do his little disc record. The disc record was nice or whatever, you know. Nessa ain't down with it. So instead of Nessa singing, they use Tiana's voice on the singing thing, which I think was just so fucking stupid, but whatever, I guess. I guess i guess i guess um after that episode three or whatever um you know because we're on what, what what remains is be still or whatever um boo boo kitty's talking about she feel like a prisoner and lucia's getting hit from i guess one of her old co-workers i'm like oh girl okay girl then um of course boo boo kitty sees the cute delivery dude or whatever and she's getting hit from old boy too the same way lucia's was and then look um when he comes up or whatever lucia's gets mad like fuck you lucia's hell no okay boo boo kitty's sparring up and i was feeling her for that small second with what she said or whatever but i did laugh when lucia's got that damn gun i was like oh no nah, don't run but whatever lucia's your damn double standard small ego ass gone just gone somewhere. I can't deal. Anyways, after that or whatever, uh, Boo Boo Kitty lets that nigga know, like, look, nigga, you need me, okay? Remember, I did this for you. Only reason why I did it on my end was because I didn't want my baby growing up without a mother, but I'm still saving your ass, so it is what it is. And Lucia couldn't say shit because she was right. You know what I'm saying? Cookie and Lucia, they talking about business. You know, Cookie deals with the music. Lucia just deals with the business side or whatever. And then, of course, um, Cookie is also having lunch with Angelo, a.k.a. Tay Diggs or whatever. You know, Lucia's mad. Um, Andre's, uh, of course, coming out of jail. Lloyd tells him to talk to nobody. Reporter's going crazy. He see Rhonda in the crowd and shit. He all spooked and shit. I'm like, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Get it together. He comes in or whatever. Um... He comes into the office or whatever, tells his dad he's going to handle it or whatever and all that stuff. And then, um, you know, his dad was like, no, just get thirsty and then thirsty and them on and like I said he was saying he gonna knock that door off the hinges after he found out what went down in the courthouse and then how episode 3 ended because I'm all over the place y'all uh, Tyreek goes and tries to basically get Andre to go in on basically turning in his daddy his whole you know empire thing basically bring Lucius down now you know damn well Tyreek he ain't gonna do none of that shit they got his brothers and his mama involved so I don't even know why but you know Andre lets him know tell me you know what not Andre but Tariq lets him know man you better be careful you ain't no ordinary man because now he has a record and I'm like oh lord Jamal is doing you know trying to get over his PTSD he's going to this uh this support group or whatever and you know everybody's excited to see him and you know Jamal walks out try to play like he good or whatever but oh boy that's over the whole PTSD uh group was like man look just just you gotta you gotta deal with it you know don't run from this and all this shit just trying to be there for him or whatever I think them two might end up fucking around but we don't know um after that, um, <clears throat> after that, um, we see, um, Lucius, oh yeah, not Lucius, um, we see, uh, uh, um, uh, Lucius, um, at the event, Tyreek is out there or whatever, and I, like I said, Romeo and, um, Tiana's doing their performing and all that shit, I was like, oh, okay, go. Romeo shows up for the whole thing, and that's how Hakeem got mad. Portia there trying to, you know, get the little selfie action girl. <laughs> that was cute, but I'm not feeling your makeup. Who's ever doing your makeup ain't doing you justice, whatever. Um, Tyreek is now trying to build new charges on the Lucius case. And I'm like, oh, Lord, anything to take him down, I guess. Um, Lucius said, you know what, if you're so mad as far as what with um, how Hakeem was mad with Tiana's performance, put that shit into some music. And that's how, you know, Hakeem got into the studio and came out with that disc record or whatever. Um, Lucius wants to sign the little boy, uh, Zay or whatever, to Empire. But, you know, he, at first, he was like, you know, think about it because he didn't sign the check. When it got back to Tay Diggs, a.k.a. Angelo, Angelo went off on Cookie whatever. He even shaded her a little bit, talking about, you know, her being a criminal, being in jail and all that shit, talking about it's more to life than just being a rapper. And I understand where he's coming from as far as what Tay Diggs was saying, but you ain't had to shade my boo Cookie, though. But, you know, even Cookie understood because when he showed the whole program as far as what he's trying to do as far as what little Zay is doing, Cookie understood that. So Cookie even went in there and said, you know what? 
when he was about to sign that uh, sign his life away, as far as to empire, whatever, you know, sign his soul away, if you ask me. Cookie came in and said, you know what, you go to school and handle your business. If you do good in school, then you come back and I'll make you a rapper. But you're more than just a rapper. Right on Cookie, okay? Only thing Lucia seen was dollar signs. Like, you know, like Rihanna said, all I see is signs. All I see is dollar signs. That's it. Anyways, um, Hakeem is in the studio doing a little diss record or whatever. Of course, Nessa didn't want to do it or whatever. And that's when we see how um, Shine handles Nessa. And you know, Hakeem ain't feeling it. He goes back and tell Lucius what's going on and lets him know, like, look, I ain't no bitch nigga. I don't put my hands on women and I got a daughter and shit, but that shit ain't right. So Lucius like, no, do what you gotta do, step up like a man and take his ass down. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. Um after that, like I said, with the whole boo-boo kitty thing, Cookie comes to see Day Tay Diggs or whatever. Like I said, Tay Diggs went off. Um the boys come, oh yeah, the boys come for, to support Andre or whatever as far as him at the court case. And like I said, they threw all them felonies and all that shit on him and all that shit. And he said he wasn't doing that. Mm-hmm, I don't blame you. But you should have listened to your daddy. Because I'm just saying, Quench ass and the crew, they would have got everything together as, as far as, uh, you know, sipping up some dirt on old girl. Um, After that... Jamal comes see Fan Loaf. He's all nervous and stuff. And, you know, he can't see her. Not see her, but can't touch her without having a flashback and stuff. And he walks off. And, of course, Fan Loaf apologizes again. Um, after that, we see Lucius is basically saying that the Black Album is done. Not the Black Album. The Black and White Album is done. And it's just the Black Album. He done knocked all the White Album stuff out. Mariah Carey ass was on there, too. Looking all cute. Okay, Miss Mariah Carey, girl. We see you don't like to put no clothes on. Showing off them titties and that nice little body. Okay, them two babies did you right, girl. All right. Or oh, that man. You know, it ain't Nick fucking you right, but it's sure as that, not Nick, but it sure is that other dude fucking you right. Because you look good, girl. I miss Mariah Carey. I like that. Okay, I like that. Um, after that or whatever, um, Lucia, like I said, Lucia said, it's now basically, he, it's all about business. He is about business, whatever. Basically trying to take down Cookie and Cookie. Like, you know what? Let's do what it do. Let the games begin. And that's basically how episode three was or whatever. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I guess that's pretty much it for uh, number three. Let's go on and get to number four, Cupid Kills. All right, y'all, on to episode four, Cupid Kills. Now, this was a good episode, okay? Let's get into it. This might be in order, unlike the other two was. And if I forgot anything in those two episodes, y'all correct me. But, the, yeah, like I know it's been past due, so that's why I just rushed through that. Anyways, on to four. So, um, Andre and Lucius are riding through in the Bentley, whatever, going to go sign, um, uh, Miss Nessa, you know, from Shine or whatever. And when he walks in, no, not walks in, but when he gets out the car, he hears Nessa's voice. He's like, that's her. And Lucius is rubbing it in, talking about, that's, um, you know, soul, only thing a black woman can give you. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. But we see Andre getting a little, you know, like, what? He looking like how he felt when he heard Jennifer Hudson sing in church. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Nessa sounds good. When he walks in, they lock eyes. And I'm like, oh, okay. He, want, he wants some chocolate now. All right. But anyways, we see Sean and Lucius peeping at, you know, he's looking at or whatever. And then when he presents him with the contract or whatever, he says, Sean talking about, nah, other artists, I mean, not other artists, but other record labels want her too. So we're going to have a bid war. Y'all let me know by uh friday and we'll see you know goes to the best bidder or whatever i'm like lord jesus lucius is mad he goes off on becky calls becky a bonehead bonehead what becky checks his ass real quick tell me you ain't gonna call me out my name for one i know that's right girl okay and then that's when um uh, she lets him know like look they not they but there was no way to sign uh nessa because for one there's nobody in the a and r position that i've been telling you guys that i wanted you know and even cookie steps in and say you know she's right and then that's when lucia's talking about oh a promotion hell now i'm about to fire your ass whatever after all the stuff that becky did for y'all becky you better reconsider what jay pop said i'm just saying anyways that's when um cookie says you know what i didn't gave it to um to um What's his name? Uh, Zachary, whatever. Some Jewish boy, whatever. And we could tell that, you know, Becky is not hearing it. She is pissed off, which she has every right to be. And even Cookie, know, you know, it's a little wrong, too, because she was expecting it. But whatever, I guess. Then they go back and forth talking about give me some damn music or whatever. They still waiting to hear, I guess, from what Tiana was saying. But Tiana's pissed off because Lucius used her name, not her name, but her voice on, you know, Hakeem's diss record towards her. So she's going to clap back, but she don't know how she feel yet. So, you know, Cookie gonna work her magic or whatever, I guess. Um, after that, we see um, 
Lucia's bringing up the whole thing with Tay Diggs or whatever, talking about you just mad because Angelo ain't called. Stop bringing up Angelo. Angelo ain't got nothing to do with this. You just mad because she don't want you or not interested in you or paying your ass dust, Lucius. I can't. Anyways, Cookie setting up meetings with uh, Portia, whatever. Portia, I'm not feeling that makeup. I don't know who's doing Portia makeup. I'm not feeling it. Haircut, yes, but makeup, no. Anyways, they're talking about setting up meetings and stuff as far as for Tiana. She wants to be in the session and everything. And then also Cookie's asks about Angelo. Has he called Jay? Because you know she's feeling him. And then as soon as she walks on, walks um, towards the back or whatever, the building, because you know they're leaving going to serve a direction some little boy was like miss cookie she's like what mm -hmm. and that's when these little kids start playing this little instrument saying farah shaka farah shaka tell me this. i thought that was so cute i was like oh you know and that was his way of asking cookie to come to the opera or whatever to hear miss gia you know i was like oh now i will say this portia you need to do your fact checking or at least get on gps or google to mm -hmm, when it comes to saying what type of places were well, because you had cookie all wrong we're gonna get there in a second whatever but of course cookie says yes to going or whatever and i thought that was so cute oh tay diggs you getting it mm -hmm. lucius feels some type of way he come around the corner starts talking shit of course as always trying to pump cookie headed with negativity because apparently um angelo then applied for some type of judge or whatever and, and he's like you know how that gonna look with you on his arm and all that stuff just i can't stand it i, I just i can't or whatever and i'm like how i'm liking how cookie let him know like you know he's a real man he don't drag people down because you know before lucius even came around cookie had a flashback with portia basically saying you know that's the type of man my daddy wanted and that's when we see what cookie daddy was saying calling lucius lucifer lion which i ain't lying okay that was a perfect name and hey he's like you know what you should be with the um old boy you know i forgot his name barry gary whatever his name is because he'll build you up which he's right but you know the heart wants what the heart wants and cookie that's why you got 17 years on your record for it but okay i understand but still love you cookie anyways hakeem wants to help as far as with um the whole thing with nessa because he's feeling nessa or whatever andre's like let's do it together whatever you know so now they down so they trying to get nessa mm-hmm Anyways, um, Andre tells Hakeem, can he go and lets uh, Lucius know that, you know, Jamal's been going down there to see Fan Loaf and Lucius is pissed. But he also lets Andre know it's good to have you back on the team or whatever. And Andre gives this whole like, and then like, Andre, okay. I don't know. I don't know where we're going with this, but all right. I understand you hurting, but hey, it is what it is. But Andre, I must say, now y'all know I'm a flaming rainbow fairy. Love it all day long. You know, got it tatted in the wings. If y'all don't see, that's the rainbow right there, okay? But Andre's buttocks, them squats you doing, baby? Yes. I need your squat exercise because, baby, yo, I was like, okay, a nice little set of buns. I'm just saying, all right, Andre, I need your workout squat method because, baby, I can, you know, just saying. Let me know, Andre. If you see this video, let me know. Anyways, after that or whatever, and Jamal and the PSTS dude or whatever are at the jail, whatever, to talk to Fan Low. You know, he's like, calm down. You know, I'm here with you. When Fan Low came out, they fucked her ass up, okay? Her ass looks, oh my God, I was like, damn. Her ass looks so fucked up like one of them niggas off of Fight Club. Y'all seen the movie Fight Club, how they face look? What? Jesus. I was like, damn. Why? Why? Why, Fan Love? Fan Love talking about, damn, look, you got some fans that really love your ass, okay? They go hard like Beyonce fans go hard. They fucked me up. I was like, oh, shit. So, you know, already he feeling sorry for whatever he wants to get out. I'm like, oh. Jamal, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I keep doing this damn interview floss, whatever. They all on these damn Titan Trons everywhere in New York, Times Square. They probably at somewhere in Vegas or whatever too, but they're on the Titan Trons definitely in New York. He's basically trying to floss and get Tiana to not Tiana, but um Nessa to sign or whatever. Got this whole pig. I'm like, okay, pulling out the stuff or whatever. And exhibit like, why don't you just, you know, write down the deal on a piece of paper? He was peeing ready, okay? So Jamal writes down a 2.5 million deal, and then his ass, oh my god. Although it was smart in the sense to get some money, but you didn't even think that shit through, Hakeem. But I understand you're trying to floss in front of the cameras or whatever. He shows, Sean, I mean, shows the damn number as far as you see what Empire gave me. I don't want nothing less than this. And I'm like, oh, shit. So, mm-hmm. 
Not a good look. But you know, Hakeem is pissed off or whatever, I guess. Uh, Cookie dressing up for the event or whatever. Talking to Portia, going over everything with Portia. Then, oh boy, Xavier come through or whatever as far as um lets him know, you know, what's going on as far as with Tiana and all of this stuff. And I'm like, okay, all right. And, you know, I'm not really feeling the new A&R guy, but I guess whatever. But Cookie winds up picking this little red dress. I don't understand why, but okay. Y'all, one second, get a phone call. Anyways, y'all, sorry about that. My dad was calling. But like I was saying, so, um, yeah, Cookie, I don't know why he list. Well, he, I'm sorry. Y'all know what I mean. I'm tired. I don't know why she listened to old boy because no, ma'am. Anyways, she was dressed all wrong. These old little bougie-ass black people that think they better than everybody else can't stand them type of motherfuckers. No, I can't. Bitch, please. Hmm. Anyways, they try to basically uh, shake Cookie or whatever. And, you know, on, um, Angelo was basically at the time, you know, she won, runs a billion-dollar company. You know what I'm saying? And also, you know, Cookie let it be known, bitch, I've been in prison, okay? I didn't visit Connecticut, the correctional facility in Connecticut. Get them bitches together. Because they're going to try to bring up somebody named Sabrina. Cookie already didn't like them. I don't blame you. So they get in there or whatever. Baby girl, Miss Gia, who was doing the opera, sounded beautifully and looked beautifully. Yes, Ma'am, she was doing her damn thing. Cookie loved it so much. Cookie got up in the middle of the damn performance. I'm like, you better sing, girl. I was like, yes, that's why I love Cookie. You know she really want to say, you better sing, bitch. Yes, but she did that shit. Miss Gia, yes. Okay, get it. Okay. Everybody looking at a Cookie like, damn. So Cookie goes to the damn restroom or whatever. And these bougie-ass black bitches, I love this part, came in there talking shit about her. And, you know, didn't know that Cookie was in there. Cookie came out of that stall talking about, mm, you know what I'm saying? Basically, bitch, you ever been on a trip, you know, to make a wish trip? Because, bitch, you're going to be wishing Okay, when this hood rat bitch whooped your ass, you're going to be wishing that I didn't. I was like, I know that's why. You know I'm summarizing. I ain't going to say it verbatim. She over there wash her hands or whatever. Them bitches all hush mouth and then go, mm. You know, get that little water on them. It's like, ah. And then she reaches for the damn um, paper. Talking about trying to just, just trying to dry my hands, bitch. I was like, oh, shit. Get them together and then toss that shit. Y'all hoes was on hush mouth. Calling her a hood rat. She should have whooped y'all asses. That's what y'all get thinking y'all better than everybody else. Fuck y'all. I love that. Cookie, you should have kicked both of their asses. You know she wanted to. But you look good in that red dress. Anyways. Um, after that, um, we see she sneaks off. You know, while Tay Diggs talking to people, she sneaks off. Because she just doesn't feel comfortable. I don't blame her. Um, Cookie tells Portia, girl, that was the wrong place. Calls her a bonehead because it was the wrong place. Duh. Like, I don't know why you listen to Portia in the first place, but I guess. Um, she preps Tiana about the song or whatever. Tiana's like, oh, Lord. But then that's when Cookie gets the idea because, of course, what Miss Gia was singing about was, of course, a tale between a man, no, a woman that loves woman that loves two men or you know woman and two men or whatever so that's when cookie gets the brain scheme ideas and tells tiana you know what you basically think of it like this which is what gia was singing at the opera so she combines tiana and gia together for their performance we'll get to that in a second whatever um also tay Diggs um is at jamal's or whatever trying to get advice on how to woo cookie or whatever and jamal's giving him some advice and jamal's also talking about fan love so tay Diggs like you know what you can do this you can plead basically insanity and all this stuff and basically he's gonna pull the strings to get fan loaf out of jail i was like all right tay Diggs, do what you gotta do you know andre talking to nessa or whatever basically you know about the deal getting a little close to her. we could see you know the chemistry the canoodling and basically trying to basically open up her eyes and let her know like look you got the talent. If I had the talent that you had, baby, I would have been running Empire or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let it know, like, you you smart. You can do what you got to do, girl. And I don't blame her, okay? You know what I'm saying? Take what's hers. So that's what she did. Andre and Lucius over there talking about the deal. Sean brings his ass over there and gets two good licks off of Andre. And you know what I'm saying? Andre was like, don't worry about it, Pop. I got this. And basically gives him good two one-twos. And then that's when Sean pulls out a gun, old bitch ass. And that's when um, Lucius get that damn bat and says, woo! Like, hit them kneecaps. I was like, ooh, Sean ass fell. That's when Lucius was like, you need to sign the damn deal or whatever. Because, of course, Andre needs his ass, which I don't blame him. Sean spits on the damn deal or whatever. Lucius cocked that gun talking about, yeah, whatever. You know what it is. So he signs the deal. And, of course, that's when Lucius, not Lucius, but Andre needs his ass again. You did that, Andre. Right on, baby. Uh, fan loaf or whatever in Jamal's lawyer or whatever. I'm trying to basically get fan loaf off, you know, with the whole uh, lawyer that, you know, Angelo called. 
you know, basically fan love got put out on bail or whatever. Even Jamal stuck up for her, did his little speech, and that worked for the judge, whatever. Although the prosecutor was trying to get her to stay, she's off on bail. Right on, fan love. I know you happy. Mm hmm. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Basically. It is what it is. Tiana do her little clapback song. I love that song. I thought it was nice. She did that shit. Get it, boo. You did that. You know what I'm saying? J uh, not Jamal. Angelo comes through. Cookie, you know, in her zone. Let's him know, look, you in my world. Welcome to it. Cookie liked the song, too. Even Lucius liked the song. But Lucius bring his ass over here and trying to play cute or whatever. Cookie ain't got time for it. Cookie walks off. And that's when Lucius tried to go back down memory lane again and say, you know how she got the name Cookie or whatever. And I'm like, oh, no. He's talking about, you know, me and Cookie might go through what it is, but we going to all always find our way back to each other and i was like oh shit mm, mm, mm. he basically tried to intimidate tay diggs tay diggs like well we'll see no that's right lucia don't imitate you not imitate you intimidate you no that's right get his ass together anyways lucia spills his beans about the whole thing with fan love getting out or whatever to jamal and jamal's like what so basically it was a plan the whole time fan love was playing jamal to get out of jail the same thing with lucia's wanted because lucia sunk the people over there to whoop her ass and i was like oh shit all applauded and that's when lucia said you just like your daddy yep you are jamal mm -hmm. jamal playing the piano whatever getting his feelings the ptsd dude there watching over him something gonna happen between them two the ptsd dude before he leaves he see jamal popping them pills about the drink he's like i don't think you should do it with the whole drink you know with liquor or whatever and jamal over there lying time like, you know what you right he lets him know the song is good but as soon as old boy walks out that's when jamal ass takes the damn drink with the liquor and i'm like lord jesus mm -mm -mm. i don't think that's good he's like you know in his own with the music and all of that stuff and i'm like okay still get them cans out your throat baby that's all i want you to do shine ass is pissed off the whole time jamal is singing going over his song shine ass is assembling the ghetto ass crew and the guns he's about to wreck shop okay he's like we gonna get lucius we gonna get andre where the hell is nessa where's nessa i'm like I, what the hell nessa ass went to andre Andre Place told him, like, Sean don't know that I'm here. So, you know, she was feeling attention, too. She leans in, about to touch him and stuff, and they get to kissing or whatever. He lift that skirt up real quick, get her ass on there. I was like, I know that's right. You haven't had it in a while. Probably you and Rhonda wasn't fucking either, too, after she lost the baby. Get it in. It's about time for you to bust a nut, baby. But, you know, he stops. Like, I can't do it. She's like, I know. I know about your wife. You know, Nessa already knew. She did her research, okay? But then this is when the shit gets weird. Rhonda ass bring her ass from the grave and said, you can do it. Let me guide you. So this shit turns out to be a ghost threesome where Rhonda is the damn ghost and she's basically coursing, not coursing, but making Andre fuck Nessa. I'm like, this is some weird shit. Andre did her ass on that damn um, desk though, right on Nessa. You wanted just like Andre wanted to. So sorry, Hakeem. I'm like, what the hell? I can't wait to see next week, y'all. I can't wait to see next week what's going to happen with Sean and the crew, Tyree, and now with Nessa and Andre, how Hakeem going to feel. This is going to be real good. Angelo and um, my boo Cookie and Lucius ass, this is going to be good, y'all. I can't wait to see how this is. Sorry again for the late review. I tried to do it under 30 minutes, but it's 32 minutes and counting. So I'm going to end it right here, y'all. Again, I'm sorry for my lateness. I'm going to do better, but like I said, Family stuff come first as far as family issues that come first. Sorry. Y'all understand that. But anyways, y'all, I'm Miss Tink. That's M-I-Z-Z, not M-I-S-S. -S. You already know, the channel's Natural Policies TV, and y'all have a blessed one. All right, y'all, I'm going to bed now. Or should I say watch How to Get Away with Murder and then go into bed, okay? Got a lot of errands to run in the morning. Deuces. Bye, y'all. Stay blessed.